Hey everybody, this is Comics on TV. I'm Josh. And I'm Big Rick. And we're reviewing iZombie for the week. The episode is Maternal Live. Episode opens up, you've got a girl that's been missing for eight months, shows up at a campground, pregnant and dying. That's right, and then Liv eats said brain, becomes super maternal. Of course. Starts understanding all the things that her mom has had trouble with her and her <laughs> kids forever. And she's getting mad about the security of the morgue too, because again, right. maternal instincts. She's concerned about that because they don't want Blaine DeBeers coming in there and trying to rob brains or hurting them. So there's and, that. And then her boyfriend shows up, and uh, they're doing some testing. You learn a little bit about what's going on in Lowell the, Tracy. Lowell Tracy trying to come up with a cure. But he's eaten some brains apparently too in the past 24 hours, and right. they were very scientific brains. But ultimately, as you get through the episode, and we skip around here a lot. Ultimately, you find yeah, out that very those gay brains. Very gay brains. I mean, we're talking. They are gay brains. That's right. So. Which, which, which <laughs> takes us to a little. They have a night out together, and it's just a girls' night out. Yeah, it was great. It was a couple it, it girls just busting loose, eating some cheese curls, and drinking. You know. Um, the really spicy uh, bloody Marys. Thing. Yeah, right. so, but Clive Bavano is uh, investigating the case. Also gets a call from Major this episode. Major said, trying to tell him somebody else on the line, he's not listening and saying, well, I don't have enough time. We don't want more missing kids up on the board for an open case. And the reporter hears this that's on the other line or the other end of the line and Clive's basically screwed Gets at this in trouble, point. ends up becoming paper pusher. Yeah, and exactly. Then, and then starts taking us to the next level, where we go to the Sparrow's house. Yeah, he gets Clue, goes to the Sparrow's house, goes down there, finds a crib that's hand-carved. They're months. like, weird, your kid disappeared and she was pregnant. Why are you making a crib? You have some kind of hope right. of coming back. Maybe she was locked down there. They don't know. So they get trapped. Right, they get trapped. They're down there. Uh, they get a phone call from Daddy Sparrow. <laughs> hey, there's someone in my house broke in. Yeah, hey, funny story about that. It's us. Right. They come up, all's forgiven. They're giving them more clues about things. Uh, like I said, we jump around a little bit here. Major gets in his own... Uh, own detective Inter agency basically here yeah. going after the candy man a candy man so <laughs> he comes up he breaks into the candy man's car while he goes into a tanning salon right and finds out that brains. His, yeah, yeah finds, finds his some brains, brains. Finds out that his name is Julian, and the cops come up and try to bust Major. Try to bust Major. Major's trying to sell out the guy. And the guy, Major, basically says, "Hey, hey, there's brains in this car. I, I'm, I'm, on, I'm just looking for some stuff." The guy comes out, shows a car to the cops. Cops believe everything that this guy I work at the meat cute. It's yeah. a high-end, fancy, schmancy place, and that's why that's in there. He's like, "It's right. calf brains." So they believe him. Uh, they get other clues in this case. They have an animal control person coming in and interview her. She gives them a bad lead about a voyeuristic guy they had on their detail and. Right. Nothing goes anywhere because he's fun, in prison. The funniest thing about the, the animal person coming in was the line that you love so much. Oh, yeah, it was. She's like, oh, Detective I Ebony and Ivory because, you know, got one pasty, right. one black. It's hysterical. It I love great. that. But in the end, you really find out that, you know, animal control is where it's at, apparently. Yeah, because they find out the guy they're looking for, this guy Mark Shepard, comes into the picture. The, he is the husband of the animal control girl. So they go to the house. Get sniped. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they pull they're up, up there and they're getting hop, hop. shot at. So they're like, oh, we must be in the right place. Calling the cavalry. The, the captain captain, captain zombie comes in. Rips can, doors off. Yeah, <laughs> Baltimore riot shield style. Takes a door off things, taking shots. Take takes down, out Mar Mark Shepard. Takes down Mark Shepard, then goes upstairs. The animal control lady, Mark Shepard's Well, wife. she's already shot Liv outside the window, too, right. mind you. She's at a treehouse trying to free these girls that are locked up. Gets shot in the calf. She goes full zombie. She goes full zombie, rips off the door, door off the hinges. Saves the girls. And then the captain just, as Unloads. the girls surround it, unloads center mass, boom, 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 done. Kills the chick. Right. She's out. He's like, everything's taken care of here. Let's get out of here. Comes down, sees Liv's, sees Liv's leg, thinks, and she's, yeah. thinks she got shot, but she he's, didn't. She's like, no, a branch. And he's like, oh, he goes, yeah. Oh, not a lot of blood, huh? Of blood. So he's on to her. Uh, you get the other point of this episode. Towards the end, you find out that the rats that they're doing testing on in the lab, where they're right. giving part Utopium, part uh, Max Rager, because that's where Ravi thinks right. the correlation is. One of them has escaped One of them and has just eaten. gone full zombie and dismantled every single so rat So obviously in the, the experiment's working. Those yeah. two things are what caused it. Yeah, so they know he's on to something. Right. God knows that rat will still be there or terrorizing the city. Who knows? Right. And also you have a major sitting in a jail cell waiting to be, I guess, greeted by these big biker guys that come in there as a gift from the police department for spilling a story to a reporter and making them look bad. Right. And Liv goes off right. on... Uh, and on the... Uh, on Munson. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Munson. Munson, the boyfriend of Emily. Because he's saying he's going to have a reality show, and she sets him straight. She's like, what are you going to have, your reality SIDS episode? You know nothing about raising a child. So he makes up with the sparrows. Right. Everything's okay at the end Happy of the day. Ending. Well, that's what we thought of the episode. Tell us what you thought. Comment at the bottom of the video. Like us on Facebook. Give us a thumbs up. Find us on Twitter at The Real Comic Wow. Absolutely. 
go on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not there already. Vimeo, HD videos as well. Check us out on Snapchat, Comic Wow Guys. Yeah, right there. Watch all the fun behind the scenes. Also go to ComicWow.com. It's your social network. Create a profile, engage with your friends, have a lot of fun on that. And don't forget, this weekend, folks, is Free, free comic, comic Book, book day. day. May 2nd, go to your local comic book retailer, pick up your free comics absolutely free, no cost. There's tons of things to do. Many comic shops have a bunch of different activities going on. Make sure you come out for it. We'll see you next time on Comics on TV. Hey Comic Wow fans, this is Josh from Comics on TV, and I have your chance to win this special iZombie statue from DC Collectibles. Yours absolutely free if you're the lucky winner. So go on our YouTube channel, subscribe, and also comment at the bottom of the video for the iZombie review for your chance to win. We'll see you on ComicWow.com. You know what? You don't get it. I win! <laughs> You'll never win!